Hi there, everybody, and welcome to another Gear Talk episode. I think this is number 14. It's been a while, I'm sorry. Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful amp that has joined my wall of sound behind me. Um, it's um, an amp of the company Eich. Um, I got this amp from a, an old friend of mine, Thomas Eich, who builds these amplifiers. Um, uh, he sent me one to give it a try, to check it out. And this is what I'm going to do today. Um, I've played this amp already live for a few times now. Um, even though we're in Corona times and there's not much to play, I had the opportunity to play it like, for several gigs and I think it's an amazing amp. Um, for me, it's like a boutique version of uh, Vox AC30 kind of amplifier, so it's really vintage style. Um, it is more versatile, I think. It sounds amazing and has a great dynamic, looks awesome. Um, you heard um, some guitars in the little intro song that I just uh, played for you. Um, uh, all the guitars played there, um, all the guitar sounds were created by the Eich amp, um, like the backing, uh, like the chords and the harmony stuff in the background um, uh, with the Stratocaster and the lead guitar um, was, as you saw, um, my uh, Nikubo Krautstar. I didn't use any boost pedals, it was just the amp. I think I used one um, chorus pedal on like an old rotary chorus on one of the rhythm guitars, but that's it and the reverb and the delay um, came from the Universal Audio Aux amp top box. I'm living um, uh, in a flat and I have neighbors so I can't play this amp really loud so I had to use my um, my Universal Audio amp top box so you're you're not hearing the speakers at all right now the speakers that are building this amp. Um, I um, chose um, a kind of preset that is in the box called Barking Bulldogs. It's um, blue bulldog, emulated blue bulldog sound. I tweaked this sound a little bit. So what you basically hear is um, the Eich amp plugged into the aux and there I um, used my Vox AC30 preset. So um, yeah, and the amp has is rather simple on the front side. We have presence, bass, mid, treble, volume to inputs low and high and power and a standby. But at the back you have um, a few um, switching um, opportunities. You can um, switch between full and half power. Um, you can switch between pentode and triode and you can switch from class AB to class A. Um, this is what I'm going to demonstrate to show you the differences of um, these sounds. So now let's talk about the features of the Eich guitar amp. I forgot to mention that it has a boost function and you can activate the, activate the boost um, with this foot switch. Um, I'll show you in a second um, what it does. First of all, you're going to hear the, um, the sound without the boost. Um, the volume is at about 12 o'clock, a bit below. Um, and this is what this sounds like. So now I activate the boost and um, the amp starts breaking up as you hear. Thank you. 
So this is um, the amp with the boost. And when I turn up the volume, you get more overdrive, of course. So now it's about two o'clock. <laughs> So still um, like a classic rock overdrive kind of sound, still very dynamic, warm, fat, rich. So I really love this sound. And if you need more compression or higher gain, um, the amp works great with a clean boost or with a tube screamer or something like this. So um, yeah, so you got a good platform to um, do whatever you like. So now I'm going to show you what the switches at the back of the amp do. So the first switch I'm going to use is um, switching the amp from full to half power. So again, this is the sound. With full power, so um, it's full power, um, pentoed and class AB. Now I switch to half power. Of course, um, it has a lower volume now, and the overdrive is, uh, you get more overdrive and it's a bit more compressed. So um, you can, so if the volume on stage is too loud, um, so if you, when you want to bring the amp to the point where it breaks up nicely, and you're too loud on stage, you can reduce um, your volume by switching to half power and you get the overdrive or the, the breaking point of the amp earlier. So this is a great feature, I think. Um, the other feature, the next feature is switching from a panto to triode. So this is full power with the panto again. And now to the triode. Back to panto. Try it. I think um, the amp again overdrives more on triode. Um, the sound is getting more compressed, or at least in my ears, um, and it gets a bit lower. Um, yeah, it's a nice variation. I prefer the panto setting. And now I switch from class AB to class A. Again, a slight change in the characteristics of the amp. Um, bit lower volume again. Um, for me in the studio, where I don't have to worry about um, the volume, I probably use the amp with all the switches up, so full power, um, pantoed and class AB. So this is what this sounds like. So the amp is less compressed. Um, it's the, the breakup point of the amp is later um, at higher volumes. And um, yeah, this is, I love to have lots of headroom. So this is why I use them with all the switches up. So a very interesting feature. It's like a vintage style amp, but with some tweaks um, to give you the possibility to really fine tune or dial in your own sound. I love this amp.